Last night and this morning, I felt really restless. Like, I don't really know what to do with myself. And it's not from having a lack of a to-do list. That's always there. It's just like, mm, I don't know. I feel like there's something I want to be doing or need to be doing and I'm not doing it. And I don't really know what that is. So this morning went for a super long walk with my boyfriend and my dog. That felt really good. Got some of that energy out. And then I just sat for a bit and thought, where do I want to be today? What do I want to be doing? And I remembered the local art gallery that I've been meaning to visit for ages because there's an exhibit there that I'd like to see. And I tend to put stuff like that off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check it out. I have my sketchbook. I'm gonna see if that inspires some creativity and helps address this restless feeling. Let's I didn't see. realize this, but the museum was free today for residents of Palm Beach County. So good timing. I was starting to feel a little disappointed because I seen a lot but nothing that I found particularly moving or inspiring and I don't know I'm just not really into art for the sake of art you know seeing artists who are well known historically like Picasso doesn't mean that <laughs> It's art that really moves me. And then I stumbled into a small room and the whole room was artwork by a Moroccan artist named Lala Esaidi. And it was breathtaking. Photography with her own calligraphy, henna art throughout and it just it left me stunned. A lot of time in that room and afterwards I felt like oh I'm good I'm done there's definitely more to see but I feel maxed out and satisfied after that experience I haven't drawn anything in my sketchbook so I think I'll sit out here for a little while and see if something comes to me
What is the point of all of this? I sat down this morning to reflect on it and here's what I came up with. To-do lists are great. Being productive is great. I love that stuff. And at the same time, I've noticed that I can lean on my to-do list as a distraction and as a way of basically avoiding the things that really fill me up and give me joy. When I start to feel restless, it's usually because I'm ignoring something inside that needs attention. And I can really easily squash that restlessness with things like being physically active and being productive. Both of those things make me feel great and I enjoy them, yet they're not really tapping into whatever that restlessness is. And the, the fact is, fitness, wellness, my to-do list, those are always present and I am a productive person. So I don't really procrastinate in the sense of not taking care of those things. Some people in my life might argue that, but really for the most part, I'm a really productive person and I always prioritize my health. So I don't really need to worry about those things. What's more important is to take a moment to tap into the restlessness and what it's trying to tell me. And for me, most often it's, it's there because I have something creative inside that wants to be expressed or I just really want to be social and connect with people and with the way my job is being remote and where I live right now, where I don't have a, a strong community around me, then lacking that human connection can start to build up for me. Yesterday, when I was feeling that restlessness, I did go for a really long walk. It felt great. And yet I knew that wasn't quite the answer. So I just paused for a moment and breathed, focused inward and asked myself, what is it that I wanna to do today? What is calling to me? And that's when the museum popped into my head and I went. And generally, whenever I go to an art museum, or see any kind of art exhibit, I feel creatively inspired. So I figured that's what I needed. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did because number one, I discovered a new artist who I love. And I generally don't follow a lot of artists. And this woman, Lala, just her work moved me so deeply. And I'm really excited to have found her. And then when I went outside into the garden, I made a sketch of one of the plants and then I came home and I painted it and that felt so good. It's just in my sketchbook. It's, I don't know if anything else is going to become of, of it, but it felt really good to get it done and to connect with the joy of drawing and painting, which is something that I've always loved. My point is, if you're feeling restless, if you're feeling this energy that is agitated and you're the kind of person that is always plowing through your to-do list, how would it feel to just set your to-do list aside and instead take a breath and tune inward and ask yourself, what do I really want to do right now? What do I really want to do today? It's so easy to push that aside and say, but I have to do X, Y, and Z, I have to. Fine, you will do those things. How much longer are you gonna keep pushing aside the other things that are deeply personal to you and bring you joy? And the thing is, when you pay attention to your joy, then that lights you up and when you're lit up, you're lighting up everybody else around you. So it is completely worth it. It's completely worth it for you and it's completely worth it for everybody else around you. I hope that was helpful to you and it's been really fun to share this journey of inspiration with you this week. I also noticed this morning that I have 
557 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which in the YouTube verse sounds like nothing. To me, it's huge and it makes me really happy and delighted that something on this channel inspired people to follow me and so I want to I want to keep that momentum if this video inspires you then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and if you feel like there's someone in your life that could benefit from hearing this message then please send this their way spread the love thank you so much Take care.